Treasure Coast Connector. Connecting residents and businesses of the Treasure Coast. And here's your host, Ellen Contreras. Well, welcome to Treasure Coast Connector. I'm your host, Ellen Contreras of the Ferris Group, one of our sponsors, a business advisory and management services provider. And they work with businesses of all kinds. To learn about them, check the website at www.ferrisgroup.com. That's P-H-A-R-U-S group.com. Or call them at 772-223-3344. Treasure Coast Connector is a show that puts a spotlight on local business owners so we can learn why they started their business and what makes their products and services so unique and special. Today, we're going to be talking about different uh, aspects of law uh, with regard to personal injury, real estate transactions, and estate planning. We're going to do something a little bit different. We're also even going to look at the Facebook Live to see if there are some questions submitted while we're taping this show. And I have with me, again, Stephen Lulich of Lulich Attorneys and Consultants in Sebastian and Vero Beach, Florida. So welcome, Stephen. It's a pleasure having you back again. Yes, great seeing you again. Thanks for having me yes, on. Yes, absolutely. And so I know that we've had them on a few times. So what I want to do several times is to mention this phone number, get a pen and paper for those that are listening, because with this conversation, you are going to want to give Stephen and his team a call. So their number is 772-589-5500. All right, the spotlight now is on you. And I love asking, and I've asked you this before, and people want to know why you decided to become an attorney, but why don't you share a story, go back a little bit in your youth, and maybe a defining moment where you said, I want to be an attorney. Well, I, I used to sit at the dinner table and, and my father was uh, great at having discussions and sometimes dinner went from seven to midnight. And so I always had an opinion, uh, whether, whether it was along with him or in addition to him or contrary to him. And he always said, you should be an attorney. And um, I have three children and one of those children acted the same way with me. Mm -hmm. And he's now an attorney. Would that be Jordan? Yes. <laughs> I just want to interrupt. Jordan was going to be with us today, but a client at the very last moment needed him, and that takes precedence. So that's okay. So. That's why there's two of us. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> So, and um, I wanted to just dive right in. Actually, what I'm going to do, this this was a wonderful suggestion that, that I had from uh, a gentleman that I was networking with a, a few weeks ago. And I just wanted to see, and I don't actually have the Facebook Live glitches. Gotta love them. So um, I'm just going to have to go back to this in a moment. So what we're going to do is I wanted to ask you uh, specifically about title insurance, because you had mentioned this on a show at another time in the past, um, that there is a really unique specification with Lulich attorneys and consultants around title insurance. So can you explain the difference between the attorneys that provide this versus a title insurance company? Sure, and for those of you that are not certain what title insurance is, it's what the seller typically gives the buyer, assuring the buyer that he is buying uh, title free and clear, mm -hmm. marketable okay. title, okay? And uh, to protect the buyer from people who might claim against the title, uh, in the future, okay, from things that happened in the past, wrong recordings, uh, probate, uh, fraud, uh, there's a host of different reasons, you get title insurance for the amount of your investment. Okay, and so now, uh, when it comes to title insurance, there are a lot of attorneys uh, who do real estate that provide title insurance. And uh, in fact, their underwriter, uh, Old Republic Attorneys Title Insurance Fund, uh, is the largest underwriter in the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, there are other underwriters uh, and title companies are their agents. So here's the main difference. Uh, the title company, the straight out title company, uh, is an agent for the underwriter. So the title company, even though they're providing title insurance, 
works for the underwriter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whereas an attorney, when an attorney is doing a real estate closing, he might be representing the buyer or the seller. So then he works for that buyer or seller. Okay. Now we do transactions, simple transactions, looks just like the title companies for title company rates. Okay. In those transactions, we don't really represent the buyer or the seller. We act like the typical title company. Mm -hmm. However, if there's some sort of glitch at closing or prior to closing where there's money that has to be held in escrow for work that hasn't been completed or there's, there's some sort of issue with regard to probate uh, and, and title uh, work needs to be done, instead of the title company saying, hey, we can't do it, you got to go get your attorney to do that, we're right there. It's a one-stop shop. So it's a lot more efficient uh, and, and, the, and it's it's... The, the closing gets done quicker in that fashion because mm -hmm. you don't have to wait for other parties or other attorneys to get involved. We're there on the spot. And like I say, we do, we can represent you as an attorney in the closing mm -hmm. or protecting all of your rights, or we can just be uh, more ministerial and provide the documents for both sides. Very nice. So you're just making it easy for everyone and probably speeding up the process too. Most of the yeah. times, if there's glitches, I mean, mm -hmm. you, you, title company cannot provide legal services. They can't draft contracts. And if they're doing it, they're doing it illegally. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so um, that's why it's better to use an attorney because uh, you're going to be more protected. And if there's any issues, they can be resolved readily. Very good. So there was no glitch. It was just me just not being able to work my phone fast enough on Facebook. So I just wanted everyone to know that even though we have questions that Stephen and I have a lot to discuss um, about his practice, if you did have a particular question that you wanted to ask about personal injury, real estate transactions and estate planning, you have about 20 some odd minutes to, to, to get your question in. If we don't, for some reason, get to your question today, the nice thing is, is that uh, Stephen and Jordan come on about once a month because there's just so much information for us to share. Um, so with that said, we were also talking about contracts, real estate contracts. So that is something for sale by owner. What kind of a face am I going to get when I say that to you? I'm not a realtor. You won't get any kind of face except probably, I can help you. I know. You probably <laughs> love it so much when it comes to that because people think that sometimes people know enough to be dangerous, right? Well, this this is the issue. You know, if, if you're having a contract mm -hmm. prepared, okay, if it's a, a realtor is preparing it, it's fill in the blanks, okay? Well, if you have some special needs, okay, or if you want to know what the meaning of that contract is that you're signing, yeah. okay, and what you're obligating yourself to, okay, you can read it and maybe you can have some thoughts about it and maybe some of them might be correct and maybe some of them won't be correct. So if you really want to know what the risks are mm -hmm. regarding your contract, okay, you'll talk to an attorney, have an attorney prepared. Uh, for simple real estate contracts, whether it's to review one that you prepared already and make the necessary changes, if any, mm -hmm. okay, or us prepare one, it's $150. It's not a big deal. Very I mean, nice. if you're going to spend $100,000... You don't want to do it, right? Oh, wow. So for 150 yeah. the for sale by owner people, 772-589-5500 is the number that you need to call. There's nothing wrong if you feel confident in selling your own home, but for $150 when it is a really large property, that is money very well worth spent. Well, well not only that, opinion. you know, the bottom line is even if you get a contract you know, given by the buyer to you, mm -hmm. okay, that was prepared by a realtor, okay, or prepared by the buyer. The realtor really can only fill in the blanks, you know, but then they might want to put in some contingencies and some other issues in there. Mm -hmm. That's when, when something's written in the contract, yeah. you know, it, it's not artfully done if it's mm -hmm. done by anybody other than an attorney, yeah. okay, and that's where all of the problems end up coming from. That inartful wordage, okay, that unlegal, okay, mm -hmm. uh, I won't say illegal, but, you know, not sophisticated writing yeah. in legalese, mm -hmm. okay? And so uh, whether it be a contract prepared by, by someone else, 
okay, or one by you, that's where we come in, okay? Mm -hmm. And that starts the process, okay? And then we're also able to help you right through closing, make it easy for you, uh, and and we're on the leading edge with regard to everything to being done nowadays, email, digitally, mm -hmm. et, et cetera. So. Wonderful. Fully embracing technology. Yes. So here's another question. You know, Florida is a wonderful place, obviously, to invest in real estate. We have so many investors that live here, that live elsewhere, and there's a lot of other people. I read a lot of articles about people wanting to invest in real estate, so they're putting that pinky toe in the water. Um, but then you hear about issues that come up of somebody already being in the property, a tenant in the property. So what advice do you have for re people that are just starting out in real estate investment, especially if there's somebody already in that? Property? Yeah, and, and I'm glad you bring it up because uh, there are, it's with a good economy that we have, yeah. there are several uh, different types of investors. Some of them like to uh, purchase a home uh, or build a home and then have a tenant in it or purchase a home with a tenant. Okay, all of that can be done, but you want to make sure there's proper assignments of the leases, that uh, security deposits get transferred. Um, and, and then you have the investors that like to buy a piece of property, fix it up and, and sell it. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, flip your home Chicago or whatever, you know. Yeah. But uh, uh, we get involved with all of that. Uh, we have contractors for people that are new in the state uh, that, that need people to fix up things, uh, whether it be cosmetically or structurally. Uh, so we, we, we're full service and we deal like you with a lot of different individuals, okay, that provide a lot of different services. Mm -hmm. Well, very good. So any real estate investors out there, if you really want to start off on the right foot, again, this number, 772-589-5500, is a number that you're going to want to call to reach Stephen and Jordan Lulich and their team at Lulich Attorneys and Consultants in Sebastian and Vero Beach. And we have to take a very quick two-minute break, but Stephen and I have a lot more to discuss when we return. Stay tuned. Blue Dolphin Pools strives to provide quality service with a well-trained staff in the field and in the office. They want you to know that your pool or spa investment means much more to them than just another account. They believe you have entrusted them with your investment and they'll do their best to see that it stays in top condition. Blue Dolphin Pool has been in business over 35 years, setting them apart from the competition. Residential or commercial, Blue Dolphin will keep you in the swim. 567-5853. Hi, I'm Cindy, the proud owner of Cindy's Cleaning Service. I consider it a privilege to be welcome to people's homes and offices to make them shine. We do it all from ceiling fans to floors, dusting, and windows. With Cindy's Cleaning Service, you get quality cleaning and affordable rates. We are also licensed and insured. Please give us a call and we will give you a free estimate. Cindy's Cleaning Service, 569-9348. At Cindy's Cleaning Service, the Lord is our strength. ITEX, or International Trade Exchange, is the largest barter company in the world with over 25,000 members offering goods and services. We're a marketing company that brings you new business in the way of trade with over 200 local members enjoying the benefits of ITEX, like lawyers, doctors, plumbers, media, printing, and more. Hi, this is Liz Bowler. Contact me and find out why barter through ITEX has been smarter for over 30 years. 772-532-1881. Visit ITEX.com. It's time to call Easy Brew Coffee and Bottled Water Service and learn just how much you can save and how convenient it is to have your coffee and bottled water delivered right to your home or office. In addition to water coolers, Easy Brew offers individual bottles of water in 8 or 16 ounce bottles. No more lugging it home or dragging it into the office. Serving the Treasure Coast for over two decades, two letters, one simple name. Easy for Easy Brew. Visit e-zbrew.com or call 800-792-3285. Easy Brew. Welcome back to Treasure Coast Connector. I'm your host, Ellen Contreras of the Ferris Group, one of our sponsors. And I've been chatting with Stephen Lulich of Lulich Attorneys and Consultants in Sebastian and Vero Beach. And we have a lot more to jump back into. Yeah, I, I just want to go yes. back. We were talking about real mm -hmm. estate contracts yes. and we covered... Um, pretty much of w what I do with regard to real estate contracts. However, I would like to add, I have a special added uh, a 
uh, knowledge when it comes to construction contracts. Okay. okay? You know, uh, whether they're new construction, they're remodel, whether, whatever, because I am also a licensed uh, uh, building contractor. Yes. Okay. And so when I'm looking at the contract, whether it be to build a new home or, or, or to an improvement or, or whatever, uh, I, I can see where there might be other issues mm -hmm. in addition to the purely legal issues. Okay. So that's why it's Lulish attorneys and consultants. And consultants. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So we did not have to wait very long for a question because the question is actually from someone in the room. Cindy, our radio show producer during the break, actually had a question that Stephen would like to answer. So do you want to restate that question? Yes. So I was asking a medical question. When you go to, say, a surgeon or you have to have a certain procedure, you know, you're all distraught. You're, you know, maybe they just told, and I'm not trying to make light of any of this. They told you you had cancer. They told you had some significant operation that you had to have. And now you're going to sign the paper that they call informed consent. Well, your mind really is not on the informed consent and a lot of times it's just kind of a lot of the things don't get explained so i asked is it prudent to have a lawyer or is that even possible okay good question and uh i would say that because i've been through this with myself and my family members quite a few times and i've had a lot of cases with regard to medical malpractice okay that hinge on some of those issues and you, nine times out of ten, the, the, the person who's giving you the informed consent is just an assistant. It's not the doctor themselves. Okay, the doctor will spend time with you explaining the procedure. They, they usually uh, do not tell you all of the risk. Mm -hmm. Okay, most people don't even want to know what the risks are. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you really want to know the, what the risks are, you ask. Okay, and the doctor will tell you. Uh, a lot of times... Uh, since it is a business, okay, medical professionals want to set you up right away to take care of the problem. And sometimes, you know, you should ask, well, how long can this wait? Well, it should be done right away. Well, is there going to be a difference in my situation if I wait a month or three weeks or whatever? And the only reason I say stall a little bit is because maybe you need to inform yourself and do some research and get a second opinion, yeah. okay? And that's the easiest way to ensure where you're going. As far as what you're signing... You know, you could sign a release, but the whole issue of medical malpractice hinges on the fact of whether something was done that was grossly negligent, okay, uh, by the doctor, okay? And, and a lot of people don't know what grossly negligent means. It's, it's more than mere negligence, like an auto accident you could get into, somebody made a left turn and they shouldn't have. That's considered mere mere negligence unless they were drunk, uh, okay, versus uh, a medical malpractice, okay? And the medical malpractice is a two-year statute of limitations or you forever waive your right, whereas other injuries, it's four years, okay? So when it comes to medical malpractice, okay, the whole issue, okay, is whether there was gross negligence, okay? And so how do you decide that? Well, the way you decide it is you bring it to an attorney who has other doctors that can look at it, okay, and say, okay, yeah, this outcome is not one of the reasonable outcomes from this type of procedure. Every type of procedure has a certain amount of risk, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. And that's what you're signing, that you acknowledge that there's risk involved in that procedure, okay? You know, and if something happened that is way beyond that risk, okay, where they didn't do something they should have or they, they did something they shouldn't have, then you've got medical malpractice, okay? And so we are probably, out of every 10 medical malpractices that I look at, two of them are viable cases, mm -hmm. okay? And we have no problem looking at any case to make a determination. And so you shouldn't feel, well, I don't know, or is this case viable? Come and see us. We don't charge you anything at all. Uh, you know, give us a call. We have a questionnaire on on uh, on our website, and, and we'll we'll get to the bottom of it and let you know if you have a case. Well, very good. And speaking about accidents, snowbird season is right around the corner. We have vacationers also that are going to be flocking down. 
I love my puns, yes. And, you know, unfortunately, with our beautiful weather, right, we have a lot of people on their bikes, bicycles. We have a lot of people taking motorcycle trips. And what happens if, God forbid, you in a car hit someone or even if it's not your fault, an accident occurs with a bicyclist or a motorcyclist? Do you have any ad- advice? Because sometimes people panic. They'll flee. They do all sorts of no, crazy things. No, no, no. Things. The last thing you want to do is flee, yeah. okay? You want to call up the police and get a police report, okay? Uh, if you're injured, you want to get medical attention right of way. Uh, if you don't have broken bones or you're not... Uh, uh, lacerated or, or bleeding okay uh, a, a good medical doctor is is fine to see uh, hospitals be careful when you go to the hospital everything you complain of they'll do an MRI and you'll exhaust your entire personal injury protection insurance oh. okay just in one visit so uh, because they want to cover uh, cover themselves and make sure they've got everything covered mm-hmm. and that's not bad but if you go see a good doctor then they can advise you what kind of test that you need. Okay, um, you know, so you you want to, uh, we have a brochure we can send you, you know, where you can uh, make a, a picture, a diagram of, of the intersection or wherever it was. Uh, if it's a slip and fall, report it to whoever shop or where the authorities are. Always report, 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 report to your insurance companies, okay, um, and, and, and s- seek medical advice and, um, and then call an attorney. Because insurance companies generally have uh, uh, two philosophies when it comes to uh, them having to pay. The first philosophy is pay nothing. Okay. The Mm -hmm. second philosophy is pay as little as you can. Mm -hmm. So you want to have somebody on your side batting for you. Mm -hmm. So, nope, I thought that was a question. That is just my phone buzzing. Sorry about that. That's all right. (laughs) You so have enough questions know, by yourself. I That's know. okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't need these questions, actually, no. But if if we do get questions... Well, they can also write in the questions oh, to absolutely. your website, right? Or email mm-hmm. you. Oh, yes, yeah, yes. what's I've, your email? I've made ellen at <laughs> ferrisgroup.com. There you go. But I have, I've, I've also put that out there as well. And um, But sometimes I think people might be a little bit shy to put questions out on, on a Facebook platform like that. Yeah, and, that's, so, and if you have a problem like that and you need to know anything from us... Or all you have to do is go on to our website, www.lulich.com, okay? And we have a, a will questionnaire. We have everything you need to know about wills, estate planning, mm-hmm. personal injury. We have a place in there. If you need to ask us about anything, okay, you can let us know what your issue is, and we will respond to you. Mm-hmm. And when you call, especially them directly, 772-589-5500, or you fill out the information on their website, lulich.com, L-U-L-I-C-H.com, it is always confidential. So, and I got the uh, almost, t- time is almost running out, so okay. I can't believe it. And again, didn't even get through all my questions, but we're just going to roll it over to the next time. Sounds good. But I just just wanted to say thank you so very much for coming back on again. It is a pleasure, honestly, having That's you right. and Jordan on every Love month. Love talking. We got to laugh a little bit more. Yes, we definitely okay. will. And, well, I guess it's yeah. those uh, crickets in your phone that that keep, I know. Uh, sorry about or that. Whatever. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> but how I want everyone to hear from you on how they can connect with you directly. Great. So why don't you tell them that? Just, just just call me up on the phone or, mm-hmm. or send me send me an email or, or, or a will questionnaire or any you just go to my website lulich.com and uh, uh, we, we give free consultations so don't be afraid some people think that their issue isn't really an issue but it's important give us a call well, that's wonderful. So again, we are at the end of another episode of Treasure Coast Connector. It is a lot of fun putting a spotlight on local business owners so that we can learn about them, who they are as people, why they started their business. And um, excuse me, Ferris Group is one of our sponsors. They're a business advisory and management services provider. They help businesses of all types. To learn about it, go to www.ferrisgroup.com, P-H-A-R-U-S group.com, or call them directly at 772-223-3344. I hope everyone has a wonderful and productive week.